So today it's time for some more Renault 4 fun. So I've got the Renault 4 up on some ramps behind me. I'm working on a project to build a bike rack, a simple bike rack to take one bike on the back of the Renault 4 and a new tow bar. So while I've got the Renault 4 up on the ramps, I'm taking some time to clean up underneath and add some new underbody sealant. That should hopefully keep it rust free. I've taken the time to rub down and prepare these uh, sill panels. They weren't too bad, just a little bit of uh, flaky paint really, where they were never painted properly when they were um, attached to the car. So I've uh, painted those with some brushing paint. I'll show you the tin of the brushing paint that I used. quite like the brushing paint for this. It, it's not too bad, obviously it's not a spray finish, but none of the cars really a spray finish. It's just uh, paint, various stages of flaking off. I don't know if you can see this, but on the Renault 4 there's a small sill channel here and I cleared that out with a wire brush, a couple of wire brushes and a bit of scotch pad and I've put some underbody sealant in there. That tidies that up quite nicely. This side on the, on the uh, driver's side is where the fill pipe runs. So the fill pipe runs up inside here somewhere. It's all nice and clean now and painted up. With the car up on the ramps I've been able to get underneath and scrape off the old underbody sealant and replace that so that will keep that looking good and uh, being looked after for the next couple of years at least. I've had this wing off the car because I wanted to have a look underneath at the uh, upper wing repair that I did. That all seems to be holding up okay. Um, just clean that back a little and put some seam sealer in there to make sure that no water leaks into the car from the top of the wing. Um, I managed to clean off quite a lot of the crap and mud and road grit from the inside of the inner wing and give that another coat of underbody sealant. So that should be good for a little while. This is the new tow bar. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago from Rennes in France and it turned up in a couple of days. Uh, purpose built for the Renault 4. Everything came with it. I've got a tow ball to go on there and the electrical connection to go there. I'm not actually going to fit the electrical connection at the moment because the project for this uh, tow bar is not to tow anything, it's to attach a homemade bike rack and it doesn't need any additional lighting or anything like that. So uh, I think what I'm going to do for now is just connect the tow bar up, fix the tow bar on, uh, replace the bumper and uh, if I do decide to add electrics I'll add those later. The tow bar uses the bolts that uh, secure the bumper hangers to the end of the chassis. The bolts on the car are pretty pretty poor actually and they're not really quite long enough so I've, I've bought these ones which are 110 mil where the ones on the car were 100 mil so this is going to give me a little bit more thread at the end there so I've got the thickness of the tow bar steel and the thickness of the bumper hanger and I should be able to get the thread to come out the end of that nylock nut there and I'll show you putting those on in a moment. Underneath the car you can see the two new silver bolts which uh, go through the boot floor they've quite close to the rear cross member but they do fit they fit quite nicely quite easy to drill and attach and over there is the plate for the side of the tow bar with the two bumper hanger bolts which I'm going to replace with the ones I've just shown you and uh, it's uh, quite an easy job really just line it all up and bolt it back together before I put these back on the car I just wanted to show you these bumper irons I took each one of them off and cleaned it up with a grinder and just sprayed it with a little bit of matte black paint because they were really covered in lots of under seal and crap and bits of rust here and there so I thought I'd clean those up and put those back on the car as they are and um, yeah perhaps look a little better and last a little longer.
So these are the bolts I've just taken out from the uh, bumper bumper irons and uh, the ones that ideally should be used to reattach the tow bar but I've replaced those with uh, just ones that are a little bit longer. As I said these are 100 mil and I've added 110 mil just to give me a little bit more thread and uh, yeah just to make a, a better job of it really. There's a new tow bar with the bumper refitted, genuine non-reno colour. Uh, that was from Halfords, it's some sort of grey colour. Resprayed that. So that's the bumper fitted for now with the tow bar as well. Um, the, the reason for the tow bar, that'll be in my next video and I'll show you that one. Um, but for now I think it's lunchtime and I'm going to fit the shock absorbers this afternoon. So I've got these new pop rivets to rivet the wing back on. The holes in the wing are quite uh, large now after they've had several pop rivets in and out. So I've got some uh, pop rivets with a larger flange. Hopefully you can see the larger flange on there. I'm going to put some washers on the other side so it uh, makes a nice, uh, nice thing for the rivet to pull back onto. And I'll show you doing that when I, when I put those in. I think what's just turned up in the post in here are the um, extra oversized um, exhaust bobbins. So let's have a look at those. Just been delivered by the postman. Get that open. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's a much better exhaust bobbin. I'm just going to get one of the other ones and show you the difference. So this one here is 25 mil. Um, wasted bobbin and they always break in the middle like that under a little bit too much tension they start to snap this is a 30 mil bobbin and uh, obviously significantly thicker so I'm really hoping that that's going to give exactly what I need uh, to hold the uh, exhaust rear rear box um, support together If you can see these bobbins that I've fitted on here, they're much more robust than the little tiny ones. The exhaust feels a bit tight, but I think that'll probably be okay. Just have to keep an eye on them, see what they do. So there's another view of the back of the Renault 4 with the bumper, the tow bar and the exhaust fitted again. So this is why we need to change this shock absorber. This one is uh, leaking oil and obviously that's an MOT failure but it's also completely useless as a shock absorber. I only put these on a few years ago so it's no surprise that they're coming off quite easily. So just found out we've got a bit of a problem with the new shock absorbers. They're actually the wrong ones for the car so I'm going to have to send those back and get some different ones. But there's plenty more to do today. I'm going to do a bit more body work on this side and uh, make a start on painting that. So as the shock absorbers don't fit, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Just get on with a bit more body work and uh, get all that finished. And I'll show you the shock absorbers on the next video along with the new bike rack. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button below or leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.